Hi guys, welcome back to Sweet Cravings Bakery, the Watch Me Work series. Today I am making a very unique all buttercream cake in honor of my oldest son who is graduating from Air Force Tech School. Now this cake has to travel many, many miles to reach him, so an all buttercream cake was the best option for me in this case. Now I didn't wanna make a boring cake for him, so I decided to go with a camouflage top with an American flag-ish kind of design on the sides. Now, when I initially started, I had an idea of what I wanted the cake to look like, but I wasn't completely sure. So I started with one idea and then later, I totally scratched that and went with something else. So if you keep watching, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. All right, thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, now that the cake is in the fridge, I finally get to get started on the most exciting part of the cake for me, and that is the camouflage pattern. I have never done this technique before, so I was hoping that it would turn out amazing, and I was so pleased with the results at the end of the cake. Uh, right here, you're basically going to see me creating a camouflage pattern out of buttercream. It gives me complete control of how I want the pattern to look, and the benefits of a buttercream transfer is that I do want my pattern to be smooth, not lumpy and bumpy on top of the cake. So once I finish creating this pattern, exactly the way I like it, see, I can even scrape some away and kind of move things around. That would be difficult to do on top of an actual cake. So once I get finished making the pattern exactly how I want it, I will add another sheet of parchment paper on top of my actual pattern. Then I will take a fondant smoother and actually smooth out all the lumps and bumps in my buttercream so I will have a beautiful, uniform, flat, smooth top for my cake. After I finish that, I'm going to pop it in the fridge for maybe about 20 minutes to just make sure that it is nice and hard and solid. And I will show you in the later in the video how I actually transfer it to the top of the cake.
Okay, here we are almost at the end of this cake video. What you guys did not see is that I had a completely different border on this cake. And if you look down to the right, you'll see this unappetizing plate filled with something on it. And that is basically the border that was on the cake before. Uh, as you can see, the coloring wasn't that beautiful, so I decided to remake all the icing colors of my camouflage, and I redid it. I think everything kind of mixed together a little bit too much, so I kind of came up with like a dark brown, kind of unappetizing color. So right here, I just decided that I was gonna pipe a thicker shell border on the cake and do it with fresh icing. And here, you will see that I added star sprinkles to the side of the flag cake. So moral to the story, if you go into a cake idea and you're not 100% sure, it's gonna show on your cake. <laughs> I am so completely satisfied with how the cake turned out. I absolutely love it. Um, it says, why pipe congratulations, Airman Turner on top. I didn't show that in the video, but I'm so proud of my son. Thank you for your service, Jalen and sacrifice. Mommy loves you, and congratulations on graduating. All right, till next time, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for spending time with me today. Bye-bye.